Hey everybody, Space Goats here. Uh, today I'm going to do a little, little uh, video on my 3D printed meter box. As you guys have seen in some of my other videos, I use factory production. I think they're uh, marine grade boxes, and I cut the lids up, modify them to put my meters and stuff in for my mining shed. Uh, I use the meters on extension cords and stuff in my computer room slash hobby room. I do everything in this stupid room, it seems like. I got workbenches everywhere and about 14 different projects going on. So, so I decided to create and 3D model my own uh, meter box. As you can tell here in the drawing, everything's done through Fusion 360. And it's pretty simple to use. I'm not a 3D modeler CAD guy. I just kind of fumble my way through trying to get this stuff done and it's worked out pretty well. Um, this is the box. I have a hole made into it to put in a cable gland. It let, that way you can run your cable inside, tighten it up. Uh, this box is set up for running 220 and running 10 gauge cable and it, it works very well. Um, I've been pretty happy with it. It's just a simple little box. It's a little bit taller than the boxes that I've been able to pick up from Lowe's and places like that. But it seems to work very well. Uh, also made a lid or a cover. This one here, this top part right here is for the meter. The bottom part's for the outlet. This is set up for a square outlet. I have a couple different ones that I was able to pick up. One of them I picked up has uh, USB plugs actually built into the outlet itself for a 110 outlet. I'm pretty positive most of these square outlets are pretty standard. Um, I've tried three or four different type of outlets and they all seem to fit very well without any issues and problems. And on the bottom of it we have a lip that actually slides right down inside the box really really nice a little bit snug fit but i'd rather have a little snug than loose but that's it right there and i also designed a 220 box or cover and it has a 40 millimeter hole with the meal with the meter opening uh, after you get done printing you may have to do a little bit of trimming on to get the meter to slip through there but it wasn't a big deal. It was it was pretty easy to uh, get them to fit in there. And there again on the bottom, it has the edges or the the what are we gonna call those? The slide down inside the box. So, and that's it. I mean, it was took me a couple hours, kind of farting around with it to get it kind of how I wanted it. Uh, I did print off a couple different ones, a little bit of trial and error. I found out that some of these L630R outlets or receptacles are a little bit different in size. Uh, I started with a uh, Livingston, I think is what the name of brand of it was. And they're like 39 millimeters. But when I tried one of my Eaton outlets, they were almost 40. They were like 39.5. So I made this opening a little bit bigger on the revision. So it'll fit other outlets a little easier. And that's it. So, all right, we'll move over to the, to the bench here and I'll show you some of the, some of the different ones I have. I will in the link and in the description and stuff, I will have, uh, the files over on Thingverse. So if you guys want to download the files and print your own along with the cable gland and everything else that I have. So. All right, let's see you guys over at the bench. All right, guys. Well, I did the little the little uh, uh, CAD part of the video here, and now let's look at uh, the boxes and the, the final product. Now, some of you guys have seen the 
other boxes that I've done. You know, this is one of them right here. This is the Marine box. You pick these up at Lowe's. This is a little different style of box. A little smaller box compared to some of the other ones I've used. I've used uh, this box right here. Which is the old, which is a different style box. I've used, I've used both of them. This one's a bit bigger. I went with a little smaller box. But that's it right there. So, when I designed my new box, or designed my own box, I designed it straight off of this gray one. Uh, dimensionally, it's really close to the same. Even the lids themselves are, will fit from one box to the next box. But they fit better, you know, the lids fit better on this box. But it will also fit this box here if, if you just want to change the lid out. Buy the gray box from Lowe's and then you can change that lid out. Um, I'm not going to take this apart because it's, well, it's up and running. So, <laughs> so anyways, this is the box. This is what I come up with when I designed it. This right here, I did not say in the other video, but uh, I don't remember what the dimensionally the hole was, size. But this is a 13.5, PG 13.5 cable gland. Um, I bought a set of these, a box with a bunch of different sizes and stuff in them. But <clears throat> these are what they are. And they just screw into the box and they got a, a locking on, uh, not on the back side lock it in there run your cable in there this goes over your cable and that locks the cable into the box itself and they like I said they got a bunch of different sizes uh, this one right here is a 13.5 this is a 16 it'll run uh, see 13.5 will do a 6 to 12 millimeter cable so that's what they are pretty pretty simple not not very expensive expensive i bought a box of a bunch of different sizes because i wasn't sure what size i wanted to use uh with my cable and the cable that i bought it's an extension cord power cable so it's it's a 10 what 10 2 10 3 whatever it's called so there's you have especially for the 220 stuff so i have the white and the black for for the power and then just the ground for 220 and it's really heavy, heavy cord. So, but I wasn't sure what size of gland I was going to need with this particular cord. And ended up 13.5 uh, works pretty well. I have to, there's a little bit of a, like a lip inside here. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video or not. But there's a lip inside here. And I have to go in and just trim a little bit of, of it off to get the cord to go inside there. Other than that, it works, works great. But the core you can buy at Lowe's, you can buy uh, like 20 foot rolls of this stuff for about $35. But it's really heavy and that's what I'm going to use out my shed. I'm going to start adding some mining rigs here pretty soon, I hope. Now when it comes to the lids, see, I got a box here. I got one. This is my lid. And... I don't have these holes pre-made or pre uh, uh, in in the drawing. I wasn't sure on the mounting on some of these these uh, outlets if these holes here are the same. So I went in, just located the hole, drilled it, called it good, and that's it. Like I said, it just a couple of screws, meter box, where the meter goes into the lid. Right here's a lid right here without the meter and stuff in it. And like I said, it just slides right on there like that. You know, nice, pretty, clean. It's pretty simple. Goes in there just like so. The, uh, the only thing you got to be careful about when you start putting one of these together is going to be the coil that goes over your wire this thing will need to be kind of stuck off to the side somewhere and lay down flat over here off to the side to get it all to kind of go in in place well 
other than that, I mean, it, it all slides together neatly, nice and neatly. Um, I also have the 110 one right here. This is the 110 outlet. I don't actually have it trimmed to where it'll fit in there, where I can put it in a box. But I wanted to make sure that how, how well this is going to fit. As you can tell, it is a pretty snug fit. But I would come in here, cut these tabs off, and right here where the oval is, I can put a uh, screw and a nut on the back side of this, and it will sit trimmed enough that it'll actually set inside the box without any issues. But that's it. Um, I will have a link to Thingverse, which will have all these boxes and stuff. All the it'll have the 110 square outlet. It'll have your locking 30 amp outlet, and it will have the box uh, files. So you guys can those of you who have a 3D printer, it'll allow you guys to be able to print off your own. Um, I did put a little little space goat tag in there on this one this box here is going to be for red panda he asked me to make a couple boxes for him i'm going to ship these boxes and stuff to him here uh uh probably here in the next week or two i actually have one more box to print off for him i got a couple i have another box here i printed this one off this is like my first prototype one but it did not have the tabs on it like this one does to allow me to mount the box you know on a wall so this one here i'd have to come in here and put in, probably put a couple of screws inside the box so i can mount it to a wall or something but that's it i mean it's pretty simple i do have one that's complete but i don't uh it's going to be hardwired in and when they're done this is the complete box so there's the cord, you got your gland fitting and stuff, and then it just, you know, it, it'll be hardwired in. But anyways, that's it. Pretty simple. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Like and subscribe. Comments are always appreciated. I pretty much, as of right now, since I'm still a little baby channel, I actually have the opportunity, I read all the comments. So you guys have any tips or anything you want to know, know about or... Maybe something I need to do different. Just, just let me know in the comments. So, all right, guys. Until, until the next video. I hope to get some couple, two, three more videos out this week. Uh, I went off the races for five, six days and had to go back to work and just have not had time to to make any videos in the last week or so. So, hopefully, next two or three days I'll get some some content up and some more uh some more videos and whatnot so all right guys y'all have a great day and i'll see you in the next one